Prospective undergraduate applicants in the U.S. can easily get overwhelmed while filling up several centralized university application systems, like Common App, Coalition App, Illinois App, etc., and some individualized university application systems, such as MIT's. We're here to help you chalk out a successful way through the important sections of these applications. To start with, we'll focus on a section which all application systems have, activities that you want to report. What kind of activities to report and how many? While the quality of your activities is a more important determinant of your application selection rather than the quantity, make sure you report only those activities that contribute to your overall narrative are relevant, and are aligned with your profile. The Common App, for instance, allows 10 activities to be reported. Do not report filler activities just to reach the limit of 10 activities. Although candidates applying to hyper-competitive universities like Georgia Tech, Cornell, UPenn, etc. report all 10 activities, the range of 7 to 8 activities is fairly common. What is the general timeline of reported activities? In the Common App, there is a general guidance, which we also recommend, that all reported activities should be undertaken from grade 9 onwards. However, there is no definitive view that the timeline of the reported activity has much of an impact on the success rate of the application. The reported activities are considered individually regarding their contribution and support given to the overall narrative of the application. Older activities exhibit continuity by focusing upon things that you've been doing for long and usually have an upwards trajectory. They are called continual activities, like you have continued to play football but have moved from district level to nationals over the last three years. More recent activities give a current picture of your personality and tend to be more concentrated in nature, like winner of a national quiz. They are called burst activities. Our general recommendation based on typically successful applications is to focus on two to three anchor continual activities and do not exceed that count. Remaining activities tend to be burst activities like internships, hobbies, etc., which can also be supporting in nature and supplement a continual activity. For instance, an interest in robotics over three years can be supplemented by national or international awards or an internship in a robotics company, or a short workshop in the same field. What activities should I report for grade 12? Grade 12 is the year where people are devoting a lot of time to application preparation, along with taking exams like SAT, ACT, and final school year exams. It's normal to not report too many activities in grade 12. Many students end up reporting just one activity in grade 12, sometimes not even that. Apart from the continual activities, some activities that you have been doing for a while may also discontinue. That is perfectly all right, and you won't be penalized for that. More importantly, do not engage in exhibitionist tendencies and report activities which are off narrative, seem contrived, and are specifically done for the sake of application preparation. Now that you're armed with the knowledge of what activities to report, Watch this second video to know how to report those activities in order to stand out and be noticed by the application assessor.